Hey guys, Martin here. Um, another update on the Nagel Knight for you. Um, so I've progressed, well, I think I've progressed quite a bit with it. Um, and thanks for some of the comments some people gave me. Um, I, I can't off the top of my head now think of who it was that suggested about making the plague sword as part of the chain sword. I was all for that, and then Jerry um, decided to, to chip in with the idea of a scythe. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but, so where am I up to with the guy anyway? Um, we've seen his legs all done. They're still the same. The top half of his body all done. I have now done. Um, and credit where it's due to Brian over at Templars Crusade Zero One. Um, he's put a tutorial up um, a day or two ago, which timing was perfect. I um, about how to use instant mold, uh, insta mold. Uh, which is something I've used lots and lots and lots, all my capes and my white scars are being done with it, but I'd never thought about using it to do a whole scenic base. Um, I now have done, so I've got obviously a um, cliff going in to what will be a pond area, and then I don't know how well the details are pick out, but in there there's lots of squished Imperial Guardsmen and like, some canisters there, a chainsaw, there's a couple of rifles knocking about and such and such. Um, and basically the way this is going to end up, we've got to build that, that ridge up a little bit there. He's going to be stood in there. This is all going to be filled with clear water. Well, it's going to be swampy water. We're going to have swamp reeds coming out of it, etc. etc. So that's where that's up to. It's ready for painting. Um, I have been chipping all the armor plates. So these are all chipped down and now ready for. All the details, um, but yeah, they're coming along well, so they'll fit on. Obviously, I've got to colour all the, all these bits and let's colour the, the, the sacks in um, because I had the black paint out for something. And there was some left over. I've done the first part of his eye. He's going to fit on there like that, and then the, the plates. Um, Underneath, like that, and then on the legs, they pretty much. Obviously the same down the other side, and they've they've still got a lot of work left to be done on them. They're only the first stage. Um, shoulder pads, um, again, they do, and they're going to sit. Well, they sit on the the the, the arms, don't they? Not on the, not on there. And then talking about the arms, I've got there's a lot more work to do on this. Um, the screen stuff still actually. Um, not cured yet, I've only just done this tonight. So two barrels on the side connected to each other and then the pump pushing into there. I'm gonna have toxic spill come out the top of them and going over the sides, but I need to let this green stuff dry off first. And then there's a choice of two guns. I'm either gonna have a big melter gun. I was gonna somebody had suggested on um, Facebook, I think it was, somebody had suggested about doing a big mouth with the gun coming out of it. And it just, I, I made one and it just it just didn't look right, so I wasn't happy with it. Um, so I changed back for this. And then, that's the other gun. I don't need to worry about the canisters um, on the side for. Um, the melter gun level because these barrels in effect are feeding the toxic crap to go through there. Um, so that's one gun. The stub is finished. Oh, and then instead of having the shield on the guy, I'm having. Let me see if I can just take that off. it needs gluing on. That's going to be 
very much like a War of the world sort of look, like another eye coming out, um, like a searchlight type eye. And again, that'll be painted black. War of the Worlds, or what my actual inspiration was originally was Flight of the Navigator, if anyone remembers that 80s movie from when, well, from when I was a kid anyway, definitely. Um, but yeah, the other arm, I'm going to grab this guy back. Bit of a messy video, this one, sorry guys. Bom, bom. So there's the Man Reaper. Um, it makes sense. I've got Mortarian, I've got Typhon and Typhus, and, they've all, and then I've got um, Death Shroud as well um, from a 30k point of view. So they've all got sides. It's a very Death Guard Nagel thing. So all I've done here. Took all the teeth off and filed it down and put back there. Tubes coming out which are actually going into um, the scythe. And just put green stuff hose around and a bit of green stuff there. This is all going to be corroded and um, when I paint it off. All this will be corroded the same way the legs are. And um, let's take the arm off so that I can play with it a bit better. And then this is two pieces of plastic card stuck together and I've literally filed them down to give like a serrated edge and that's quite a smooth edge up the top and that's all it is, it's just two pieces of 3mm plastic card I think it's 3mm, it might even be 2mm plastic card together um, but I'm really really happy with the look of that and when it's painted up I was talking with um, Aaron um, over at Lenny Leonardo and we were talking about maybe painting it up in OSL and I didn't want to do it blue because it would contrast too much against the the Death Guard colour and then I was thinking what one green tie in too much and what I don't want is this to be the only attraction to the model um, I want it to blend in without sticking out too much I thought well do you know what it's bloody big enough to you know it's a D weapon it's that big so I think it's just all going to be very heavily corroded down so that it looks like you would be instantly infected with plague as soon as it, as soon as it touches you and, and kills you off that way but yeah so that, that's where that's up to um, that's pretty much it to be fair, as I say, the base is gonna got has got a lot more work to do on it, and so is everything else. But just also give you an update, show you where the chip ends up to and everything, show you the arms. Um, let me know what you think, as always, guys. And um, please leave the comments; they're invaluable. The comments in the last one are what have made the decision of doing the scythe on this one. So, yeah, I hope you're happy with that. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think, guys. So next time you see him, um, there should be a whole lot of paint on him. Thanks very much, and see you soon.